millions of children under the age of 18 have not one house but two homes because their parents are separated. And I think it's really important. Last night, a number of parents might have thought, does this mean I'm not going to be able to see my children again for the next couple of weeks? Enormously distressing for a number of people. What are the rules about separated families and can you move your children between the two households under these new restrictions? Well, uh, it's very, very difficult, but no, you should not. Uh, children should stay in the household that they are currently in. Uh, we should not have children moving between households. I know this is incredibly difficult. This is a time of um, uh, an emotionally fraught time and a difficult one. Uh, wherever possible, if there can be contact through uh, social media or non-physical contact, then uh, uh, that should carry on. But we saw, for example, at the weekend, uh, some immensely moving scenes when uh, it was very, very difficult for people to see their parents or grandparents on Mothering Sunday in person. But instead, through Skyping, telephoning, or through um, other means, people stayed in touch. But you, yeah, uh, that's, you should that's not. That's one thing for adults, and I and I appreciate that. But I just want to just get this absolutely clear because what you're suggesting is this is sort of lockdown roulette. Whoever the children are with right now, that's where they're staying. Whereas the guidance says you should only leave the house for one of four reasons, which includes to provide care for a vulnerable person, and the note says, where applicable, this includes moving children under 18 between their parents' homes. Now, I would have thought that that meant separated parents can move the children between two homes, but are you saying that that's not what that note suggests? Yes, you should not be moving children from home to home. There will always be specific cases where there are children who have unique vulnerabilities. Uh, there are children, for example, uh, who have education, health and care plans uh, who can be in school or in other settings. So if children do have unique vulnerabilities and needs, then it will be the case that some of them will be moving from home to other appropriate settings. But as a general rule, um, with a limited, very limited number of exceptions, children should stay in the household that they are currently in. I mean, this affects millions of children under the age of 18 who live in two households. And the uh, guidance that came out last night was that you should only leave the house for one of these reasons, including to provide care uh, for a vulnerable person. And the note uh, on that was where applicable. This includes moving children under 18 between their parents' homes. And as you know, we just spoke directly to Michael Gove, who's going out this morning to clarify all of this advice. And he said, no, this doesn't apply in the case of um, children of separated families, unless they have um, special care needs, that actually the children should remain in the home where they are Which now. Which could have huge now. consequences, because that could mean that they could be with one parent for weeks or months on end without the other parent being able to see their children. And, again, this flies in the face, it would appear, and what many journalists are saying on social media immediately following that interview, this goes against what the understanding was of the government's policy post Boris Johnson's speech last night. And this plays again to this sense of a lack of clarity. And we desperately need the clarity. I've also been bombarded with people in the construction business. You know, a friend of mine has a site in East London, 130 people uh, there all congregating. Is, as he says, is that not a mass gathering? Mm. Uh, is that work essential? Probably not. So why is there not clarity about this kind I, of thing? I, th I think well, there is... Also, I, hang on, can I... Can I yeah, this, Hillary, is, yeah. this is important. That p phrase, where applicable, this includes children under 18 moving between parents' houses, comes under the medical category of care for vulnerable, for so vulnerable what children. Mean? It, it means that uh, under most circumstances, it's imperative that nobody travels between any homes unless it's absolutely... But you necessary. understand Minimising that. contact. But it's about medical need here. It's not about social well, need. But, Hilary, OK, so, look... So whilst it, well, what it, does that of mean, course, Of course, parents want to see their children, even if they're divorced or separated. But, actually, this is more important than that. No, I get that. So, and, look, but, Hilary, that's fine. But that's great. You understand it. But people watch you and go, well, what does medical need mean? OK, so I'm just um, having a look at Twitter here. The BBC political correspondent Nick Eardley says Michael Gove has told BBC Breakfast children can be moved between separated parents. He says he wasn't clear on Good Morning Britain, 
and people under 18 can see wow. both parents. I mean, this is... OK, this has got to stop. Right, this government has got to get a grip. We have had mixed messages now for two, three weeks about almost everything. It couldn't be a more fundamental question.